uh, I'm sorry, 112 million dollar renovation project done in 2016. Now this is a way to kind of get people closer to the river. But I want you guys to see a nice comparison. This warehouse, the Reed Murdoch building, this is a, used to be a warehouse, now it's home to companies such as Encyclopedia Britannica. This is essentially all that you would see in Chicago in the early 1900s. You don't really see commercial residential buildings. Why? Because this was just an alleyway, a sewage system. It wasn't very pleasant to be around, and that's why you didn't see a lot of buildings around here. That is until you started to get into the mid to late 1900s. Right? More and more people, architectural firms, they come to downtown Chicago to build new buildings. So if you look to your left, you see the builder's building. It's actually built in two stages, 1927 and 1987. And notice at the top, you get those nice uh, rainbow colorations in those uh, columns at the top. But notice how the new addition is trying to complement the previous style, but you can clearly tell it's using more modern materials. Now the builder's building has a very appropriate name because for the longest time, several architectural firms actually had their offices inside of that building. Now one of my fan favorites here along the adventure, this is going to be the coolest building you'll see tonight because something special happens at 9 p.m. that you'll see later on. But the architectural style you're about to see on the right hand side is equally as pretty as what you're about to see at 9 p.m.